What's up, everybody? I'm Lenny Kaiser, Ableton Certified Trainer and founder of Sequence One Music School in Oakland, California. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a pretty handy tip for working with drum racks in Ableton. Let's say that you have a drum rack on one of your tracks and you used it to program a beat. Generally, when you're done programming a beat, you don't want all the sounds in the drum rack to remain on one track. It's better to split them out to individual tracks so you have more control when it comes to the arrangement and processing. Ableton makes it easy to take all the sounds in your drum rack and get them onto separate tracks. That's because the sounds are already running on individual chains in the drum rack. Let's take a look at the chains by clicking the Chains List selector. So what's the best way to extract one of these chains from the drum rack? We'll start by clicking the triangular button to the right of the track's name, which is called the Chain Mixer Fold button. This is called the Nested Drum Rack, and it lets us view all of the chains feeding into this track. So now, when it comes to getting each individual sound out, like getting the kick on its own track, it's actually very easy to do in Ableton. So if we want to get this kick onto its own track, all we have to do is select the chain here, and we click and drag it to where it says Drop Files and Devices here. So when we do that, this is actually super cool. What has happened here is that it pulled the kick pattern out of the MIDI clip, right? So we have quarter note kick drums here. It created a new track with the drum rack device on it with that same sample. And now the advantage is before on the individual chain, each sound did not have its own clip. We had one clip here that contained all of the MIDI performance. Whereas now on this clip over here, this one just controls the kick. So let's go ahead and rename this by right clicking up here or choosing Command R or Control R to rename. So we'll just label this kick. So now this, the cool advantage is we can play our clips and bring in our kick whenever we want. Okay, let's continue splitting out our drum sounds. So I'm gonna take all of the snares. So I'm using Shift to highlight those three there, and then I'm going to use Command to just select that one. So we have all four. Now I'm gonna use a different function to extract these chains or to get them all onto their own track, just like the kick. So after we make the selection, we right click, and we choose Extract Chains. So now when we do this, we have the same thing. A new track is created. All of the samples are put in the same place on the drum rack. And if we hit Shift Tab to go to the clip view, we see that all those MIDI notes are there. So let's name this Snare Clap. And again, we can stop our clips here. Pretty cool, right? So now you know two ways to extract chains in the session view. And I know what you're about to ask. But Lenny, what if I'm in the arrangement view? <laughs> you can also extract chains in the arrangement, but you do it a slightly different way. So let's reset the stage here and briefly walk through this process in Arrangement View instead of Session View. Okay, so now we're in the Arrangement View looking at a completely different project. You can see that there's a drum rack on this track, and there's also a MIDI clip containing my drum performance. Let's say that I want to extract the clap to its own track. All I have to do is click the pad in the drum rack and then drag it to the area that says Drop Files and Devices here. Ableton automatically creates a separate track and the new clip only contains the MIDI information for the clap. 
So there you have it. Now you've mastered three different methods for extracting chains, and that should help speed up your workflow. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about Ableton and music production. Just so you know, this video is part of a comprehensive introductory course about Ableton Live. Check it out at sequence1.org.